three displays on a MacBook Pro. That was like an hour, hour and 15, I think. Hour and 15 minute meeting. Good meeting. Glad it's done. Okay, now we're gonna see if we can make this thing work with the MacBook on triple monitors. So, I used to work on this machine right here. Really built for gaming, but I used to work on it. Hackintosh, that wasn't very, um, not very stable. So I bought this MacBook. Pro 15 inch, very nice, love it. I used to work on these three displays up here. I want to see if I can if I can make the Mac run on those three displays. I've heard it's possible. You need a normal little mini display port cable to HDMI and then an active one. This is a mini display port to DVI. Uh, you can get them to VGA and HDMI as well, but it needs to be an active cable. Uh, I'm told it won't work if you just connect normal cables to the MacBook. It'll only um, run two displays. Then. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get well I'm gonna get two HDMI to HDMI cables and I'm gonna get one DVI to HDMI cable. Be right back. Okay, so I think I got some HDMI, HDMI, HDMI to DVI. Let's see if we can make this thing work. And then obviously we're gonna need to change some settings in the MacBook, make sure it doesn't sleep when you know the lid is closed. If you ever wonder what <laughs> kind of cable chaos goes on when you have that set up, three displays and a piece like that, yeah, that's 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 quite a lot of cables. I don't want it mirrored. It is displaying on main and all these three. It actually looks like it works. <laughs> yep, there we go. It actually works. So today I got the Mac thing working. Three displays, one Mac. Maybe if you own a MacBook, you wanna you wanna do the three monitor thing. This will show you how. So all of this is being powered by a single MacBook Pro that runs all of these three displays. You can't just connect like a normal HDMI cable and you know like normal cable. You you have to not only do you have to use converters if you're using like non Apple displays because they don't have mini display port, but you also need one of these converters to be an active converter. Uh, basically, that there is some computing power in that connector itself. So you need an active one. I'm gonna link the two converters that I used down. In the description. So I used one HDMI, goes directly from a MacBook to one of the displays, the one in the middle, that one. I used another HDMI with a normal mini display port to HDMI converter, just a normal, not an active one. And then I used an active converter from mini display port to DVI. That runs all these displays. And if you want to, you can even run the fourth display, the one on the MacBook itself. 